Blackbusters. What's cracking, family? Mm -hmm. What's happening? Welcome back to another episode of Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm your host, Big John, mm -hmm. along with my co host, Skin Tone. <laughs> <laughs> Pause yeah, indeed, get, yeah. but it's necessary. It's their skin, yeah, skin tone, not my skin tone. I get it, I get yeah. it, I get it, I get it. Skin tone. Skin tone. Yes, indeed, Yeah, bro. there it is. Uh, skin, because we are doing another episode of Players Club. Yeah, yeah. We did it. We, we started off with um, Alex Thomas. Shout he was a Alex Thomas. Alex, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, he played Clyde in mm -hmm. the project, mm -hmm. and I definitely wanted to do it again because... Um, Alex Thomas is one of the comedians, actors, writers that I, I grew up watching and, yep. and was very influenced by. Yep. And in this, honestly, this particular that particular episode, I want to talk a lot about him. Yeah. And the movie. Yeah. And we got carried away. More Which interview. I, we more had interview. Fun. Yeah. And I, I I don't regret it. I would do it again. Hell yeah. However, I definitely do want to give you guys a more um give you more takes mm -hmm. and more conversation about Players Club because it's one of my favorite films. Yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, we're going to talk about it. Once again, Players Club, uh, written by Ice Cube, directed by Ice Cube. And if, if Ice Cube really wrote this himself, not saying I, mm -hmm. I, I don't deny it, but that's just another testament to his 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 brilliance to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's a hood classic for me. It's a hood film, but it's a, mo a movie for the hood, and it's a, story, it's a great story. Yeah. It's a great story that could really happen in real life. Um, happens probably way too often right. in real life. Even the nigga getting, maybe not the bazooka. Yeah. But a, a strip club getting shot up, this is it's, true. It's, it's possible. This is true. Um, he, directed, he, he directed it too. So this dude is just a ball of talent, man. Yeah. Uh, Ice yeah. Cube, he has two different careers. Him as a, him, uh, three different, him as Ice Cube from NWA, mm -hmm. Ice Cube, the solo artist, and Ice Cube, the writer, director, and producer of these He's phenomenal, man. He's, he's, he's a beast. Um, so he's phenomenal. He is, man. This is his directorial debut. As it should as be. As well. Yep. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Lisa Ray McCoy. Lisa mm -hmm. Ray is, plays Diamond, uh, Dick Anthony Williams, and, and Judy Ann Elder, and amongst other people. Yep. You know, at this time, it was a lot of celebrities. In it, but, of course, you got uh, Michael Clark Duncan. You got... Uh, um, and you got Alice Thomas. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Bernie Mac, Jamie Foxx. Mm -hmm. He had a great cast. You got everything that you need. Yes, indeed. Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy. Come on. Terrence Howard. Phase on Love. Phase on Love. All that. I I love James like, Amos. Yeah. James Amos. Yeah. Um, I love um early sleazy Terrence Howard. Like, right. like, like before yeah. he got the guitar and mm -hmm. like, you know. And connected yeah. with the Celestials, uh -huh. you know he play he plays a, a great light skin thug, yeah. right? Like great Southern thug, yeah. You know from yeah. from DJ to this character to the character he even played in uh, Dead Presidents, Dead right? Presidents, yeah, he just plays a, a great he plays great a, slimy thug, right. yes. And then he turned around and played a good wholesome lawyer in that TV show on BET back in the day. Yeah, yeah, he, he's just a dope ass. He's actor. got range. He has. He's he definitely range. has range. A little crazy, but definitely he's got range. Range. He look, yeah. he's, he's a different guy, yeah. but he's very talented. He's an artist. That's yes. a, that's a better that's way. Is. That's what it is. All right, so here we go. Players Club. Lisa Ray's character Diamond. She's a young girl growing up in Atlanta, um, and she wants to go to school. Wants to go to a black school. Mm -hmm. Her dad wants her to go to a a, a, a premium, uh, basically a Harvard. If if you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. if she could, but she wants to go to Spelman. Yeah, or Clark. Yeah, or you know what I'm saying. So in order to, he's not gonna pay for her to go to school. So in order, in order for her to go to get her college education, she has to make money. A lot of it to mm -hmm. pay for tuition is expensive. So instead of working at a, as a diner or at the shoe store mm -hmm. like she started off doing, she starts stripping. Yeah, yeah. You know, since so she started paying, using what she has to get what she wants, and what she wants is a college education. Mm -hmm. So she strips to make money for that. Has a regular boyfriend. She's in a relationship. She has a son. And that's how she's making her honest living doing something that's not illegal, but it's definitely mm -hmm. not. It looks it's frowned upon. Right, she's a stripper. Right. All right. So that's how, that's where it starts. Ronnie Tricks are the the, the LG mm -hmm. stripper chicks in the game. Yep. They kind of get her into like making more money easier mm -hmm. and faster mm -hmm. and more. And she ends up moving a little too fast as a young girl, and she gets into a little sexual experience with Ronnie, who's like this big stud, sexy chick. Yeah, Not stud, femme, femme, sexy kind of stud. Alpha. Way. She's an alpha, she, alpha lesbian. Yeah, <laughs> if that's the thing, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Right, right. What right. would she be in the lesbian homie? She wouldn't be a stud necessarily, but she wouldn't be a femme 
But even though she is feminine, she's like almost she's like, like a, asexual, right? Because yeah. like, because I don't like I don't I didn't come across thinking that she was a lesbian. I just think I just came across thinking that she get down. No, I, I honestly think this. I think she won and she was attracted to Diamond. Yeah. Because even after the fact, remember she came into the locker yeah, room and yeah. you, you got what I want, so you're going to give it to me. I'm right, going to take it right. inside the locker room. Yeah. I get what you're saying. She might not be, but- She seemed bisexual. She, definitely bisexual. Like, was, sure. like, was she smashing them old dudes in the tub too? She probably would for the That's players. what I'm saying. For the rest. She yeah. definitely, yeah. So I think- I yeah. think she, They want to see something else. They want to see you go down. She like what she like. She like what she like. And get yeah. at what she get at. That's Exactly. That's it. I'm in the mood for you tonight. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's right. And, and it could be about control. Facts. Right? You know? It, it's a, definitely a mental situation. Right, right. Um, I'm going to use this movie. I'm Like, I've been talking about releasing some additional content on, on the channel. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, tones, hot takes, reheated. Right? Boom. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because I've got some interesting thoughts about who the real villain in this movie is. Uh-oh. Here we go. I got some real here we thoughts go. about, you know, and, and I'll I'll touch on it briefly here because uh -huh. we got some other things to do. But, like, I think everybody kind of positions that that maybe the villain is Ronnie mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, like, the villain is, um, what's her, what's her cousin's name? Why am I drawing uh, the Ebony. Ebony. Uh-huh. Ebony not a villain for sure. Not, not a villain. An argument could be made that Diamond is the villain. Whoa. Whoa. Okay? Whoa. All right, so well, let me make a, a thin case. Yeah, help me. Help me understand this one. So Diamond's job was to take care of Ebony. Right. She failed miserably. Okay. Okay. Right? Yes. Failed, failed Ebony in every way possible. So everything that happened to Ebony is a direct result of the failure of her big cousin. <laughs> okay. Right? All right. That's um, hilarious. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> I'm hearing you. Not Diamond, right like I agree, but right yeah. like I hear what you're saying. Diamond is the one that brought her up into that club, mm -hmm. knowing how they get down in that club. Diamond was the one that never called that little girl's mom to never. be like, she out here wilding. Diamond is the one that didn't, you know, galvanize the support of her family to help, help you know, get Ebony together. And when Ebony calls, despite all the shit that Ebony does, Ebony's foul. I'm not saying she's a good person. Mm -hmm. When Ebony calls when she's at Junior's party and she calls Diamond and she says, I'm scared and I'm not comfortable, right? And Diamond hangs up and doesn't show up. The fact that Diamond does show up later means that Diamond understood the danger that Ebony was in, right? For her to even show up at the house means that she needed to, and she slow walked her ass into that situation where she knew the girl was in After trouble. After the date. After the date, mm -hmm. right? After the date. So to me, all of that really kind of like points a, a, a picture that like I think Ebony's the villain. But ultimately, uh -huh. the real villain is Diamond's daddy. <laughs> Wait. Ooh. The real villain Damn. is Diamond. And it's for everything that you just said. Listen, we I'm not disrespecting or anybody that works in as a stripper or works in um, the sex business, right? Like, you know, but as a father... Yeah. You're supposed to do everything that you can to keep your daughter off the pole. That's crazy. No dad prefers no. that his kid is on the and pole. And no dad is going to sit back and let it happen right. if there's a way not to. And when you live in the same neighborhood, okay, it would be one thing if my daughter is in Texas stripping and I'm in California and, and, and I don't have any money or resources— Pops was paid. A big ass house. Big ass house. The girl is in your own neighborhood. And whatever it is, you can't bring yourself to give her the money that she needs to supplement the dough from the from the shoe store to keep her off the pole. So none of this happens if he's not a better father. Oh. Okay. Now you, you mixed two takes. <laughs> no, those are those are <laughs> two different takes. Yeah. Let me address the first take. Uh-huh. Uh, Diamond is not the villain. Yeah, I think she is a uh, she's a contributor to failure. She definitely failed. Yeah, and she could have did a better job. Definitely don't 
put your your She's cousin. She's not the hero. You don't put your cousin. True. Yeah. You don't put your cousin in the strip club. Mm-hmm. But then again, the flip side is, how is it too good for, not good enough for you, but it's good enough for me? Mm-hmm. And how can you, she's a hypocrite at this point. Yeah. But then, or you can just play, hey, I'm a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. I'm going, unless you was going to college, mm-hmm. you need to work at that shoe store and you, you don't got no other bills, but you staying with me. Right. You don't need, you good. You going, you, yeah. you're not you going to strip like pay. me. You'd... I'm stripping because your uncle, my father won't let me go to college. Right. Under his dime, right? On his dime, he he refused to mm-hmm. pay for me to go to this this black school. Mm-hmm. So I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. You don't have to do that. You can Not stay with for me. You you can stay with me. So mm-hmm. yeah. So she should have stayed there. She should have started there and, and stood on that. Yeah. But she didn't. She allows Ebony to strip too. Mm-hmm. And one thing, real, real, real quick, I'm upset. They never let Ebony be on the pole. I never saw her on stage. We need to see that. I never saw, we saw the them outfits. I saw them outfits. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I never saw everybody out there doing their thing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanted to see that. <laughs> yeah, going, yeah. Going, going. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but on the on a serious note, Diamond, her her energy was right as far as I want to keep my cousin safe. She kept asking, "We well, y'all seen Ebony? Y'all seen mm-hmm. Ebony? Y'all seen mm-hmm. Ebony?" And Ebony was never. Around for her to be the, the, she to keep tra- uh, t- tabs on, mm-hmm. but she's saying, but you you living in my house, mm-hmm. but uh, you can't really do that because I was I was gonna say she could be like you if you gonna live here you are gonna not do this you know, right you're not hanging out with tricks and Ronnie right she, but then I won't live here then yeah then that that would defeat the purpose of being able to to keep track on her keep tabs on I her. mean the thing is is that like Diamond walked her in there and sitting next to her while they talking the dollar bill right you vouched for her. Right. And so you could have easily been like, you can stay with me rent free, but you got to get a job and you can't work where I work because I don't want you there. These are the terms. Right. If, the, if, if this is not agreeable, you can go stay with my mom and dad or and you, you can take your ass back to Florida. Right. That's off top. Right. So I won't I won't trip in the writing. I don't think that's bad writing. No, no. I no. just think that that just makes us, us not really care too much about Diamond yeah. as much as we probably should. This movie is incredibly fun to analyze like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Because it's there's there's a lot to 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 do. But yeah, like like again, and not to disparage, no one should ever be taken advantage of no. when they are under the influence. But it was Diamond's ass that got drunk as fuck. Hanging out with Trixie and Ronnie mm-hmm. for that situation, mm-hmm. right? She was like, Ebony. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, so if you know how they did you, like, that would be red flag forever. You wouldn't let them girls nowhere near yeah, I wish you your would. cousin. I knowing how you I did barely, me. I barely didn't even talk to you. Right. Let alone, I'm telling my cousin everything they did to me. Mm-hmm. And if you still rock with them, that means you don't rock with me like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we didn't have an argument. We didn't yeah. fall out. Yeah. They assaulted me. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? She Fundamental is. failures. Yeah. Every stripper in that club knows not to go to Junior's bachelor party. Every stripper in the club knows because Ronnie done asked every stripper in the club. Yeah, uh-uh, I'm cool. Junior, right. hell nah. Diamond, you wouldn't have had a conversation with, with Ebony about Junior's bachelor party? You didn't know? You didn't know? Come yeah. on. Everybody knows. You could have told her, don't ever go. Don't do it. Let me tell you something. You're going to get drunk and something bad going to happen to you because it happened to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't. And you, if you think you're smarter than me, think yeah. about it. Why? How right. would you be smarter than me? Right. You hang, you're doing the exact same thing I did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So let's just start. And none of this should have happened anyway because she should have never been working at right. the club. Right. <laughs> so, 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 so. right. I'm going to get to that dad, the, the, the dad taking a minute, but mm-hmm. I want to this, this, this kind of like go through a couple of these, day, this, these different scenes and mm-hmm. these characters and these plots. There's a few subplots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dollar Bill, the owner of, of, of the Players Club, is in high debt, heavy debt. He got this. It, it, the strip club wasn't bad. They made it. Was it a bad strip club? I feel like it was a shitty strip club. Uh, obviously, they made it seem that way, but there was chicks in there looking good, and oh. there was a hella, hella, hella yams in there. So the so, only thing, well, I mean, you know, well, but, but, you're so, easy to please. Yeah, you true, like some true. yams. Uh, yeah, true. You give me some yams, <laughs> make them large and right, charge. Right, I, I'm in there. But and you, then you got Diamond. Yeah, and you got Ronnie. Tricks, no. Yeah, don't yeah. get it twisted. I could, I'll take her down too, mm-hmm. but I mean, but I don't need to see her in the strip club. Even though Lisa Ray is fine, she's not a good stripper. If that's the case. Okay, right. Yeah. First of all, we saw her work. 
Here's two evidence that it's a shit club. The first is Jamie Foxx is always talking about what a shitty club it is on the mic. Which is crazy to <laughs> right, me. Right. That's the first thing. The second thing, when the bartender goes into the dressing room and she says, it stinks in here. <laughs> right? It's so, stinking here. To me, those are two pieces of evidence, you know what I mean, that it's a shitty club. And we know that, like, Dollar Bill is not an effective manager. Right. Right? So to me, it's like, this is probably a crummy place. But, okay, when you got nigga, but it was never not packed in there. It's true. And it was pulling up in limo. And Luke a, showed up. Luke showed up, bro. Okay, so this so, is a king of so strip a, music. Yeah, yeah. So, so maybe it is okay. I think, and maybe Jamie Foxx's character, Blue, they love Blue so much because he is this thing that's club his that's thing. dope. That's his He's thing. He's a comedian as well. Yeah, yeah. So Donald Bill, no, 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 no. Keep telling the jokes. Yeah, I like that. Keep being funny. I like that. I like that. And talk, talk your shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can see him doing yeah. that. You was on because, your toes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you quick on your feet that time. Yeah, yeah. Blue. Bernie Mac, rest in peace bro yeah. good lord he's fantastic man has there been someone else like him no i never there never Come on, there never man. will be so let's 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 uh that's that's crazy all right so here we go blue got st louis looking for him st louis got two young goons mm-hmm. uh under him uh terrence howard's character and uh charlie murphy and charlie murphy's character dope mm-hmm. um then he got a second tier he got a, he got of a, goons, the JV goons, right? Yeah. And I just refuse to believe <laughs> that all this is all. This movie is probably in the course of a few months. Two, three I mean, months, yeah, for, ninety days. Because basically, basically, I think they call out that like Ebony only been there for four weeks. Yeah, right. I mm-hmm. think they call out something like that. It's been a minute since. Like I didn't rewatch it again for this, but I think she's only been in in town for like four weeks. Because I think Diamond says something. You know, you I've been out here three weeks and you right. drinking and smoking and stuff. So it's got to be six weeks max. Right. So 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 almost two months. Yeah. And they can't find Dollar Bill at that one time. Hilarious. <laughs> right. He got so he got another loan shark or another like hitman or whatever mm. walking up in his house. Yes. Yes. I'm assuming he's separate. No, he said St. Louis sent me, right? Mm-hmm. Then St. Louis sent him. Yeah. 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 St. Louis sent him there. So St. Louis got Charlie Murphy, Terrence Howard, mm-hmm. Alex Thomas, Ice, Ice Cube, Cube. Yeah. and this fifth dude who's scary as hell. Mm-hmm. And you can't find out the bill at, at all? Come on now. Nah, I don't believe that. Yeah. But I'll take it. I'll take it. For the sake of the film and the, and the comedy and everything, I get it. I mean, like, like St. Louis, for a guy rolling around in bazookas, he's awfully patient. Right? Yeah, it would I seem money, that man. it would seem that all it would take is is for the varsity goons to walk to the door to put a gun in Ezel's face and say, "Take me to Dollar Bill." Yeah, at any point in time, right? right. Run up in there, tell the bartender. Put a gun in the bartender's face. Is Dollar Bill here? Yes. Take me to him. Right. Right? So the fact that that didn't happen, and again, it's for a movie I understand. You keep telling me he's not here? Yeah. Okay, well, check this out. Now, the nigga was disappearing in walls and out of walls yeah. and all that. So, yeah, he was. You know, so he could have been slippery. But I, I'd rather them uh, a scene where we go into the office and see he's not in there. Right. He, he, he didn't went through a trap door. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll take that. If they actually went inside the st- place, because mm-hmm. you got... Clyde and uh, well, how often do you see the the owner of the club walking through the club? Right, he right. gonna be in the back. Right, exactly. So exactly. Clyde and, and, and Reggie is sitting there looking around. Mm-hmm. They really they're just watching strippers. I mean, it would have been easy for Charlie Murphy and then once they get pulled over, when they got Dollar Bill in the trunk, and the guys take them in to see if they got running warrants. Once they get their phone call, they make a phone call to St. Louis. Send the JV team. He's in the car on the side of the street. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we got pulled over, but I left the car on the side of the road. Right. Then you call Clyde and them. They pick up the car. Movie's over. Right? Movie's over. <laughs> right. It don't have but to be, that though. part, yeah. It don't have to be because you get, uh, the plot will have to thicken up, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you take them and now you got to be in front of the dollar bill or in front of St. Louis. But mm-hmm. we never really seen St. Louis to the end. That was by design. Yeah. I get it. He probably had. That worked. He probably had uh, St. Louis there for one day. For those nice things. Yeah. 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 So 
I'm, a, we're, we're, I'm nitpicking because I love this film. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything yeah. that happens in the movie, um, I, I'm going to address the, uh, I'm gonna address the, the, the villain. Pops, mm-hmm. piece of shit. Piece of shit. All right, no, not saying that. Not a piece of shit. Piece of shit is like when you like it's a bad dad. Kids. Yeah. He just he he just was a bad dad, and the mom wasn't. It, it well, goes, she, hand, just, they goes hand shit. in hand. Yeah. Because your wife should pro- your the mom the wife should pressure the father. Mm-hmm. The girl is stripping my uh the the the, the, the um, uh, Mr Armstrong. His mm-hmm. name is probably gonna be William. Mm-hmm. The girl is stripping William. She taking yeah. her clothes off for money to pay for school that mm-hmm. you won't pay for it. Yeah. And you got more than enough money. I want her to go to Ivy League school, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She not gonna go there. We gotta get her off the pole. Get her off the pole. Get her off the pole. If you would think that Diamond had a single mother that was probably exactly a mother of eight, like again, and on drugs and no dad. They live. She's middle class. They live close in. They're middle class. They live close enough for her to drop her baby off when she's going on her shift on the way home and pick him up. Come on, like you know, I gotta believe that. Like that relation that that the failure to mend that relationship to to keep Diamond off the pole is is. Yeah, so that should have happened. And so there's no like. Here's the thing: I get the father was like, "Well, shit, if you're not gonna do what I say, mm-hmm. you're gonna leave this house, mm-hmm. and you're not and you're not gonna you you cut off, right? Okay, but cool. The, but and daughter are... was like, "Well, shit, I'll be cut off. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go strip to pay for the college I want to go to. Let's talk. And, and let's say this: Pops could be like, "Well, shit, she made a decision as a young woman. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let her stand on business. I'm gonna let her stand on business. Yeah. But how long? Exactly. For how four long, years." Bro? You let you let you let your daughter strip for for, for she four years. She's a senior in high school. She's a college. senior. She's a senior in college, still stripping mm-hmm. four years. Mm-hmm. Maybe because she ain't got pregnant again, and maybe because she ain't got strung out on dope. Maybe, maybe yeah. well, he went. Look bullshit. what happened to your baby girl because because you <laughs> look what happened to your niece. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, and you the and you the head of the family. But yo, know, how how many of your daughters and nieces got to get raped? That's what I'm for saying. You, to, oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Your daughter who probably didn't tell you, obviously, yeah. and your niece, and obviously the rest of the family feel like you are the most stable. That's why they send an Ebony up there. Yeah, he got a big house in Atlanta. Go to go go go. Got go a lot of money. With, go stay with William and Cheryl. Yeah, and and fundamentally failing. And the daughter that's in college right now, she a senior. She a senior. Little do they know, little do Auntie know, your niece is stripping. Yeah, and she about to have your daughter yeah. on the pole too. I'm leaving Florida. Mm-hmm. What was he doing in Florida at 18? Nothing, probably stinking at the house. Yep, going yep. on dates and shit. But yep. she didn't have no babies. You know what I'm saying? She should have been in city. College. Oh, girl had a baby in high school. Right. Diamond had a baby in, before she even got to college. Mm-hmm. So Diamond was wilding. You know, Super but wilding. But I gotta feel like as a father. As a father, I, I got to do everything that I can to keep my daughter off the pole. Mm-hmm. And if for whatever reason she's on the pole, I got to do whatever I got to do to get her off. Get her off. That's that. I got to make sure that she whatever her last shift college. was was her last shift. Yeah. Once you, once you find out this is how she paying for college. Oh, mm-hmm. she's serious. Yeah. She's serious enough to degrade herself to 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 for the better good for mm-hmm. the greater good of her future. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna help her out. Yeah. And especially, she stayed, she stood on business, and she didn't ask you for nothing else. I get it, and especially after they mended their relationship, which she says in kind of like I'm one of the monologues. Around. Yeah, then at that point, like, there's no beef. Do what you got to do, man. Pops is stubborn. Yeah. You that stubborn, pops? You yeah. let your daughter on the pole. Do what you hey, what's do? your homie saying? What's your brother saying? Your sisters right. and your relatives and the niggas at church and shit. What, hey, bro, yeah. You got diamond. You got Diana out here stripping because yeah. you don't want to pay for her tuition. Small town. She's paying for her own tuition mm-hmm. to the college she wants to go to, and because you don't want to go to the, you don't want her to go to, to the college of her choice, mm-hmm. you go you gonna let her strip. Yeah, you a buster, bro. That's and and that's another little nitpick that like when I was in college, one of the girls at the school got roped into some porn. She did a porn, right? Uh huh. Excuse me. Everybody knew. Yeah. Everybody knew. Yeah. This was before the internet. Mm -hmm. That VHS tape got around. It got around. It got around. I don't think it's possible for Diamond to be stripping four years. Come on, man. And nobody know. Nobody know. Right. And her parents do. I hope you ain't got that girl at that club Mm -hmm. dancing with you. Yeah. And then she, huh? Right. 
Well, are you are you that concerned? Yeah. Even even the homie, parents is whack. Even homie that like who did some unbelievable shit. Like no real person would ever do that to throw dollars at a at a at a, yeah. a well, stripper at the, at what, 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 in no the beef? line for unless, graduation. Uh, unless he had beef with her. Unless he, he didn't. Um, that's what I'm saying. Unless it, it's, it's realistic if he had a personal issue with her. No. Like maybe she dissed him one day, or she he didn't even know her. He didn't know her. They they just told yeah. her. Oh, she be at the stripper. She be at the players club. Yeah. Let me disrespect her like that. That that didn't make any sense. But you want me to believe that Diamond went to college for four years, and that was the first time somebody recognized her from the club. No, I don't think so. I think that I, I think at this point, this is the two girls. Mm-hmm. They might have just found out, uh, and they told okay. these these particular people mm-hmm. just found out. Yeah, but the word didn't get around. Yeah. The word I mean, the word got around a long time ago. And yeah. here's the thing: mm-hmm. maybe the strip club ain't that cracking. Exactly, <laughs> because strippers make way more money to where you got to still strip for four years. Yeah, just to put yourself through college in a tercel. Come on, like man. Like, whatever her whip was. Come on, was, man. You know. So you got to go hoe, too, like Ronnie did, to get a Honda, to get something better than the Honda Civic? Come come on, nah. Come on. I, mm. She's not, she don't make a lot of tips. Right? Like, but she had, <laughs> right. she had Myron. Yeah. Myron was a a, 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 a customer for years. For, he was for steady. at least four. He was steady. Steady. Yeah. So he gave her a, damn, had, had a quarter of his check mm-hmm. every week. Um, I'll give you one other kind of like little take before, you know, we hand out a couple of awards and stuff like mm-hmm. that. If they're not any more hot takes. Uh, Stanley, uh, the professor, Stanley, mm-hmm. it's, it's got to be the most upstanding motherfucker upstanding. ever. Upstanding. <laughs> upstanding. He's got to be the most decent guy. He's like me. Ever. Bro. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. What I do, you know what I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, he's, he's, he's professional. His job is, he does it. I do my job at work. Right. I'm sitting around all these women. Right. That, and, and we do our jobs and we go home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And not do not ever do I ever try to push that line. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. Hold on. Let me say this. I'm also married too. Right. If I was single, that might be a different story. You know what I'm saying. So we got to know if Professor is single or not. Mm-hmm. If he's not, if he's married, even though a lot of times niggas don't care, yeah. but some men do. Um. If he's married, and he, if the professor is married, I can see why he's being upstanding because he's just you know. I'm a married man. I'm, I'm not trying man. to smash you anyway, bro. There's no way that if he pressed her to smash or press her to date and this and the mm-hmm. other, that she wouldn't go for. It. I know that he's her professor and all yeah, that. Yeah. He didn't even try. That, yeah, nah. yeah. You know. Once he find out that you out there um shaking cake. Yeah. Nah, man. Because Throwing yams around. He was at the club. In the club. He was in the club. Uh-huh. Right? Like, you know, so he's the type of man to go to a club. To right. You know what I mean? So he, for some reason, my image, the energy he gave me, his yeah. body language made it feel like he was there with his friend that was celebrating something. Somebody's bachelor party. Come on, Mike. You out here yeah. with us. Come uh, on, Mike. You know, I don't really like on, that come place on, Mike. or whatever. It's, it's for Stan, man. Mm-hmm. It's for Jake. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. All right, man. All right. You don't really like going to them spots, but, you know, yeah. I'm down. But, but I mean, he handled it so well. Too well. He handled it a little too well, right? Professor is not, and he a young professor. Yeah, he looked yeah. like he same age as Stanley. Yeah, I mean he he's the same age as Lance. Yeah, he looked like the same age as Lance. I guess somebody had to be a decent guy because, right? I mean, it, it, even her dude Lance was scumbag. Yeah, it would have made sense for for Professor Stanley to be like, so what you know? Yeah, like he just about hand, that. Yeah, about that. Like. He just handled it so smooth, like he was like he wasn't interested or attracted at, at all. At all. Right? That feels a little unrealistic. Yeah. He should have been the older, he should have been the older, uh, older professor. Yeah. And he should have, especially why make him so young if he never was gonna press. Right. He could have been Lawrence Fishburne's character in a higher learning. He could have been that old. That's what I'm saying. And he could have been like, I got a daughter, I got a niece to yeah. run your age. Now now cute cute those a bone, the same way Michael Jai and all of the you know, that's his guy. That must be somebody so, he knows. That's his boy, because he was oh. Friday. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. So, he, so he, he, got, he got him a role, you know? He looking up. Um, but it was, it was, I would have felt. We're picking, and it's fine. Because she's, like, you can't, you can't have a character totally ignore a woman's beauty. Right. Not, not like that. Not, yeah. It was just not, too clinical. Yeah. It was, it was too yeah. clinical. And I like how he made her not feel bad about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just was kind of like, I, but I don't it, know if I could have been. I, I don't let me know tell you why. Ice Cube, I'm about to. Uh, we just jumped on you. I'm about to defend you, mm-hmm. and it's about to make sense. He. This is what happened. He is a, uh, a, a young, attractive 
career man. Mm-hmm. Pause. Mm-hmm. Right? Nice guy. Educated. If he pops at her, there's no blue. Mm-hmm. Lance is getting dumped. Mm-hmm. He's a he. He's the guy that he's she's going to fall for. The one that so she... we can't have him. Pull. There's no reason for him to pop at her because there's no way she turns him down. Mm-hmm. And the, and you being my teacher is not enough because yeah. you're about to graduate. Right, right. You finna graduate. And there so are, there, you're right. You're he right about been that. the older guy. You're right about that. I like the guy. The characters. Mm-hmm. The, the character was dope. We don't need to exchange him for anybody else. But yeah. for the same for it to feel a little bit more realistic. Mm-hmm. The, she, that's the guy that she's supposed to be with. And some men. Like, excuse me, dating a stripper is a non-starter, right? They couldn't, they they would never do it, and maybe that's why. And maybe he's maybe just he like, like, yeah, well, she dances, she, and she's young. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, you know, but I, I don't, I don't mess with girls that have ever done that, right? That's I don't not, judge you either. I, there's no judgment. Just want you to let you know it's cool. I'm not tripping. I mean, the, if he had we, said that, like we should have had this a quick scene. Mm-hmm. It could have been that same scene when mm-hmm. she was on the on the on the on on the ground mm-hmm. on the blanket, yeah, reading. Or it could have been another scene, quick one, mm-hmm. where she kind of flirted with him. He was like, you know, hey, mm-hmm. you're a very nice young lady. Yeah, you have a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm with someone or I'm married. Yeah, and or, or I don't date students. I don't date students. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll be graduating soon. Focus on your on your on your final. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a little bit more realistic. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. a little bit more realistic because he acknowledged, you know, the, you know, you you ran out of there like my, you know, like I forget what he said. Like, yeah, but what the analogy was? Yeah, but it was something about some, some sort of school shit, uh-huh. like some class shit. Yeah, what yeah. If you, wish, wish you ran a class that fast, or, right? You know, right. something some like shit, that. Yeah. Uh, or he could have just been one of them square niggas, though. He's hella square. Like, I mean, he is Stanley. Yeah, right. Yeah, he is Stanley. He is Stanley. Okay, let's get into some. Uh, Awards really quick. Any other little things? I mean, um, the relationship between Blue and Diamond it works. Yeah. Um. He's yeah. A, he he's a, he's a, a nice guy. Yep. Yep. Working in the place. He's like her. He's in the place that he shouldn't be in. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't be in that place. He should be a DJ at a at a at a at a, at a, at a store at a at a um a, a this uh DJ yeah, uh, yeah. station. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. radio station. Right. He should be at a radio station. He should be Mark Lawrence. He Did, should be. He didn't had, they he, call that out? Didn't they say that like. He was also spinning at the radio station. If he did, I don't remember. Okay, but he should. That should have been the conversation. So, what do you do outside of this? Like, you know, I want to. I want to have my own station one day. I want to run mm-hmm. my own station. I want to be up there with Big Boy or the Baker Boys or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I can see that for you, but it's something small. Yeah, they should have had a better date conversation. Two more little quick questions. Uh huh. So at the end of the movie, Ebony's face is fucked up. She working at the uh, shoe store. Swole. Swolled up. Make it swole. Doesn't it make sense that they would have sent Ebony home? Like, like in all no the way. evidence point out that, like, you, in, Atlanta ain't working out for you, right? Like, like doesn't got, it make sense? Hey, she got a jaw busted. She got like, fucked like, up. And she probably got, there's no way she has all her teeth still. Ebony's no mama, way. Ebony's mama would have been, like, send her home. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? She would not still there's be no in Atlanta. Way. Ebony never got done like that in Florida, let alone... Yeah. Less than a quarter of a year. Four, four weeks, nigga. <laughs> like, I sent her I sent her to you. And four weeks later, she's, she's a mopped. stripper. She she's is... been raped. She's been beat. Whoa. She's lost her teeth. Whoa. I might not, I might not even talk to my sister or my brother Ever again. again. Ever again. There's she no was, way she's standing up there. There's no way that Ebony was not better off Just to start- at home. You're right. There's no way. Than what she was in Atlanta. There's, there's no way she starts off at the at the Players Club and ends up at the same shoe store that Diamond started. She should have started there. Yeah, that's where she should have started. That's yeah. where back to back to Diamond's right culpability. And Ebony should have been like it. Almost it's almost like did she ever tell Ebony no? You can't work here. Yeah, at the strip club. Right. It looked like she introduced her like here. Come work with. Come to my come job. Come to my job. I'm gonna hook you up with a job I have. Yeah. Because I'm thinking to myself, like I would have rather see Ebony work at the shoe store, yeah. see Diamond make this bread, and then be like, I'm, I'm trying to get money with y'all niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And just show and do it on our own, right? And have Diamond run into her in the club, what like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you here? doing here? I wouldn't got a job like you. That makes a lot that more sense. Is. But that's nitpicking. But that is a better plot. Yeah, that a better part of a plot. Yeah, is that Ebony defied her bigger cousin, older cousin, mm-hmm. and just did what she wanted. To, well, you yeah. can't tell me I can't do it. You did it. Right. You're doing it right now. Right, right. Well, I'm doing it for a reason. I'm going to college. Well, maybe I might go to college too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying something. The other thing is, if this is what they do at the at the end monologue. Is it possible for a stripper to also be a news reporter in the same city? 
Right, like, like, Ooh, yeah, she, she can't, she had to, she got to go from Atlanta. To, she got to go somewhere else. Macon. Yeah, she can't. I don't even know. I don't even she go know. To Macon. You can leave Atlanta to go to Macon. You can, go, you can leave Atlanta and go to Savannah. She may need to go to Louisiana. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Because uh-huh. I just don't think the, like, like that job is so premium that like the background check on reporters, you can't. You know, like. These reporters have have kind of squeaky clean backgrounds. Okay, like you know, and so you gotta be the, you gotta be the face. Of somebody the would have been like, you know, she used to work at the Players Club, and it'd be like, oh, oh yeah. well, you can't do the news. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. like we can't we can't send you know. I, I it's unfortunate, but there's a stigma, uh-huh. uh, you know, a, a, attached to it, right? I but, wonder how true that. Yeah, I, I know you said that like they have squeaky clean records, mm-hmm. squeaky clean, um, but. I wonder. I mean, I just think like like you kind of see it on the news like all the time. Where, I mean, I bet you that there are more women that have stripped that went and got teachers' credentials and and work in schools as teachers and have been able to kind of keep that secret on the low, mm-hmm. um, because there just has to be too many strippers that that go on that don't have careers in stripping that go on to have a life in, but, in a marriage and, and in it's the just news that world, secret in their the past black news world if it's a white news uh, yeah. uh, channel they probably don't even know them about the players club and yeah. she's was under 25 she was what she yeah. was 22 nobody would know and like, i can see you stripping for yeah uh, from 18 to 22 and then getting to be at 27 you're a news anchor yeah and but, the club wasn't that popular so nobody of note right. Would right. would know? I imagine yes. Yeah, she's she at the club. Even though she's diamond to us, she's a one more nameless, faceless kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do some awards real quick. Sure. We'll do awards and, and some rankings. MVP. Who's the MVP? MVP would be um. Damn, it's hard. Ronnie, <laughs> she's my favorite. Yeah. She my favorite. Yeah. I, I think I think uh no, if I'm being honest, uh even though she put herself in these in these situations, mm-hmm. but she got herself out of it too. Um Diamond. Kind of by Diamond. default. Yeah, yeah. Uh she she went to uh, and so would you strip to pay for college? Mm-hmm. I feel like she always wanted to do good. She never yeah. wanted to take the easy way out. Yeah. And stripping is the only way that she can make some real money fast yeah. in that area. This is Atlanta mm-hmm. in the nineties. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like she could bust tables, yes. Yeah. But she should have bust tables. If that's the case. She should have bust tables at night and worked at the shoe store during the day. Right. But then how would you go to college? Again. So at that as point, as a single mom. It may it probably makes sense that she stripped because she she can just do that, make twice or three times as much money yeah. in those six, seven hours that she could. So now she did what she had to do. I Somebody think. has to be the MVP and Diamond's the best choice. Right. LVP. LVP is Lance. Okay. Lance, he wasn't. He didn't do shit, but he didn't even live there. Actually, mm-hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? Oh no, I think he moved out. No, he didn't live there. Right. Um, Lance was a buster, bro. He's a buster. I didn't think he was at first. But uh, I told you I wanted to go out tonight. Yeah. You rather dance in front of them nigga that's stupid ass club? You met me at the you club. You met me nigga. at that club. You know like, he's a sucker. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's you shouldn't have messed her, he's messed with her. I met her and then wiped her up. And then, then, t- then be have an issue with her job. And then smashed her cousin. And smashed her. I'm talking about it was an accident. I, I, I was coming here looking for yeah. you. Want to talk to you and. You ended up with bed. You in the bed naked, nigga. Come on, bro. He's a loser. But to me, the LVP is Diamond's mom. You know, I think the daddy is the villain, right? Diamond's mom is fucking pointless. She's not. She's not advocating. She doesn't advocate for Diamond. Mm-hmm. She lets her husband allow her their daughter to strip, to strip as opposed to pay for college. She wants to go to college. Yeah. I can say she don't want to go to college. She invites her niece up and doesn't take any responsibility. Knowing your sister, your daughter's a stripper. You Knowing take, your daughter's a tell stripper. Your, tell your, niece, your sister, hey, to come, she look, can come hang with me. She should be living with you. Hang with hang with that. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pointless. How many fists? Five. Five for sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure, and, and for me, um, this is a hood tale, a hood mm-hmm. movie, and 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 um, it tells me it, it's funny, yeah, it's sexy, um, it's hood, mm-hmm. um, it's there's legendary characters, yeah, Bernie, Jamie, Clyde, AJ Jamal, rest in peace, mm-hmm. Alex Thomas. You got the hood stuff. You got the you got Ronnie, sexy ass. I'm a huge fan of her. Mm-hmm. Um, you got everything to me. 
to tell a story. Um, this is one of the movies that's kind of like mall cops or kind of like, yeah. you know, one of those independent, um, like if it wasn't a black film, it would be something like that. It would yeah. be something like a um, super bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not done, two different types of movies, but uh -huh. like as far as on the scale, um, super bad didn't seem like it had a lot of money behind it. Yeah, right. But it was funny as hell, and it was high school tale, and this didn't have a lot of money behind it, but it it, it, it gave me everything I needed. You For me, saying? Players Club, I want to give it a four mm -hmm. because it's kind of like a four, but I think it's one of those movies that like you need to watch to get your black card certified. Of course, you need to see it. Mm -hmm. You need to see. <clears throat> Because there's a lot of cultural references. You need yeah. to see Bernie Mac working like Come he's on, working. Man. So I'm going to give I'm going to give the Players Club a 4.9. Just shy of a five. It's not an all time classic for me, uh -huh. but it's really high That's up crazy. there. Crazy. It's really nah, high up there. You, I respect you. You're your rate. Uh, but it's, it's, is this? Uh, it's. I mean, and the thing is, is that after after the rewatch, and I found so many things that didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. That's that's where it doesn't get that one percentage point to get it over to the five. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like you know. But I'm really gonna have a lot of fun, like breaking down some things, like Lance mm -hmm. the Buster, Ronnie the Pop. But we gotta stop. Lance ain't nobody. That's why he, that's why Lance ain't nobody. He 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 was an LVP for me. He's an LVP. But I get what Mom's is. Mom's served no purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a five for me. Uh, and, and if you put other movies in this genre, mm -hmm. white or black, yeah, I, I feel like it, it, it. Give me a black movie. Give me a white movie. Not you necessarily, mm -hmm. but that's better than this one in, in the same type of film. Yeah, it's paced well, hood it's, film, it's shot well. And even if it's white, white yep. hood film, great you know independent movie. Like, yep. like, give me something. Like, I think, and in the, in the, you, you, you get nothing. You get no better than Bernie Mac, and it had a great soundtrack. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, how's it? And it's part of our culture. It's five. It's a it's black a five. Buster. I it's a five. It's a five. Yeah, think it's of a five. like, can you think of blackbusters? You think of like Friday, mm -hmm. um, The Wood, um. Uh, coming to America, Players you Club. know, Players Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, but uh, yeah, I do see chinks in his armor. Yeah, but I can, I'm, I can almost find anything wrong yeah. with some, any, yeah. even the best movies. Yeah, maybe not Malcolm X. It's, maybe not this, X, but like it's it's a fun it's a fun movie. It's really fun to talk about. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that universe while I'm there. Right. Um, and kudos to Q for yeah. for his directorial debut. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boom. Yes, indeed, man. Love it. All right. Shout out to Adele Gibbons' his tricks. Yeah. Where I forgot it, you know, she was in there doing it. My favorite thing. part was she, was she woke up and she, how you doing? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all. That was Players Club. This is a real quick one for him. A real quick one, man. Yeah. This is, this is a recap of the recap. Yep, yep. Um, I'm your host, Big Ja, mm -hmm. along with my co host. What am I? What, who am I on this episode? Skin Tone. Skin Tone. Skin Tone. Skin Tone. Skin yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Making it precipitate. Making it precipitate. <laughs> uh, man, catch us next time on Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, crap. Be good or be good at it. We out of here. Pew to the max. Blackbusters.